come with us as we build a cute little aquarium for tiny fish or tadpoles uh, and snails out of uh, using waste products. Uh, all we need is a two liter plastic uh, bottle, uh, soda bottle, some twigs and and rocks and, and, and away we go. Uh, I, the 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 bottle is just a normal soda bottle, two liter bottle. With uh, then we need a uh, a twig, a intricate little twig as as far as we can get it, and a rock. It's got to be rough, rough. The rougher the better in aquatic circumstances, and we need a sharp knife, uh, a heat gun, and uh, soldering iron. Which if you don't have one, I'm sure the neighbour has one, so go and borrow it. And we need some two some uh, safety equipment. And, and of course, the, the, the actual bits that we need when we're ready to build it. So let's get started. The, f the first thing we do is cut the top off uh, the two liter bottle. It's, it's, it's a bit sort of slippery and everything. But bearing in mind, everything in a, in a soda bottle is recyclable. So when we, we, we just we, we cut it, and at this stage of the game, it seems floppy, but I promise you, when, when you fill it with water and things like that, it is very strong. And we'll be able to build a cute little aquarium, uh, and and that's one bottle that's not going to end up floating around the waterways and causing an absolute mess out there somewhere. The Eco Reef product is all about using plastic bottles to to improve our environment rather than rather than damage our environment. And we learn as we go building this little uh, item just how important and how how easy it is to use the. The, the, the waste products and what we're doing. So uh, please, uh, uh, you know, g keep learning. As I say, that the little this little piece off the end will be put back into into recycling. We're going to find ways that we can actually get, get get equipment to people so they can use those little bits and pieces. So save them. They're not going to co cause you any harm. Put them in the recycle bin, and we'll use them later. Now, the, 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 the next stage is to actually burnish the top of this thing. You don't need to. It's not that sharp. But to, to give it a little bit, and it, the, the, sh the shape can be, um, you know, it, it doesn't have to be square or, 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 or even or anything. It's just the more, the more it's sort of kinky it is, the better it's got, the better feel it's got. So have a bit of fun with it. It doesn't really matter. Um, it does not uh, affect the fish and doesn't do them any harm. Remember, no pollutants. There can't be anything, uh, any detergents, oils or anything, even on your hands or whatever. You can't do that uh, or it'll hurt your fish. Just just burnish the ends a little bit and basically your, your aquarium is ready. Now, here we go. We Next thing, of course, is to get our echo reef. Uh, the echo reef is desperately important. So here we go. We get our little twig and we squeeze it into into the, the, the your, your water bottle. Uh, it can be loose at this stage of the game. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to run away, I promise you. And we get our heat gun and we just, we, we shrink it. By shrinking it, it turns incredibly strong and hard and it binds everything. Now, now why, why do we need to bind this? Why, why, why can't we just drop the stone and the stick in the water? It doesn't work that way because our plants need something to grip to and grow. <coughs> our little fish and our snails and, and <coughs> tadpoles need hiding places. So we burnish it and there's this little cave, this cavern for our plants that our plants can hang on to and our little animals are absolutely safe. So we've got to push push our way into it with heat so that we've got rough edges. Uh, well, they're not rough edges, they're smooth for fish, but but they look like rough edges and the, the plastic itself is is heated and, and melted and it's strong, very, very strong. So And it'll last hundreds of years, so you, you don't have to worry about uh, the thing suddenly breaking down in your water. Now, virtually, that's your echo reef, uh, uh, the basics ready. So here we go, we put some water in our uh, tank. Now the water has to be aged, it has to be overnight. So the day before you make the, keep put your water in a jar and hold it overnight so that it, there's no chlorine in it that can hurt your little baby fish or, or your tadpoles. Now is the tricky bit. We get our plants. We've got. We can you know dig them out of the pond in the garden, or or your friendly aquarium will give give, give you um, a whole heap of uh, of, of plants. It, it always explain to them what you're trying to do, and they'll they'll give you a hand. In fact, you can show them pictures. And they, they'll they'll love it. The, your aquarium people are a different breed. They love helping people, and they love anything that's going to that's going to improve our waterways. So yeah, get them involved. They'll give you a hand. And you can get some really great stuff and great advice from them and the kind of fish and things that you can keep in there. 
So now we squeeze it <clears throat> every bit of the, of not, not, not every bit, just little, whatever we need to actually hold uh, the plants in place. Because once they're held in place, they grow from there and they just keep on developing and giving us an, 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 this beautiful vista that, that our little uh, uh, tadpoles and fish can really enjoy themselves in. So we just make sure that we, we, we push them as far as we can through our cavities. And we've got, uh, you, you know, the, the, the little uh, bi biological creatures that actually start inside this <coughs> will improve your water. <coughs> The the, um, the 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 plants add oxygen, so you 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 know for the, if you've only got one or two tiny little fish in here, and or like corn fish for instance, or or natives, you don't need a pump, and if you're putting tadpoles in there, you definitely don't need a pump because they don't like uh, oxygen being pumped at them; it'll kill them. So, but this way they just they you just fill your, your tank to the top with with water just so that it looks absolutely pretty. Uh, and and your your aquarium is ready now all we need to do from here is to get our little baby little baby friendly little buggers and we we we, we put them in and we, we just enjoy the way that's a snail you put the snail in and and, and because snails keep the, the glass uh, the plastic in this case clean so if you're doing this in a glass tank you can do it glass tanks exactly the same way if you're doing it there, the snails will keep your glass absolutely clean, like forever. So you don't don't need to get in there and scrub it the way we normally do. And your 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 aquarium is ready. Here it is. It's beautiful. Just enjoy it now. Have fun. You really will. And it's an it's an eco reef thing. Thank you.